Hey, 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 guys, welcome to another video lesson. This is Passages 1, 3rd edition, and we, we are going to start in unit number one, friends and family. Lesson A, what kind of person are you? So tell me, what kind of person are you? Are you shy? Are you outgoing? Are you easygoing? Okay, thank you for, for being here in my YouTube channel, Teacher Martinez. Please subscribe, share with your friends. We're going to start with this uh, with this book, Passages 1. Okay, so let's start with uh, this uh, personality, personality. Okay, so we have here some statements. For example, number one says, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. So I'm very confident, okay? I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. I insist on making my own decisions. I don't mind giving, giving up my time to help other people. I never worry about getting places on time. I always feel like going dancing. I can't stand being in, in a messy, disorganized room. I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. Okay, so you are definitely agree with this. That means you are agree. I mean, you are 100% or you are somewhat agree. That is like, let's say 50, 50% or you are definitely disagree. So this is 0%. Okay, so you need to talk. You need to uh, talk with your partner, pay work, and you have to compare your responses and find two ways you and your partner are different okay for example i'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class how about you oh i'm definitely afraid of doing that okay so this is an example okay let's move on into vocabulary and speaking how would you describe yourself so now we have here uh personality traits personality traits, for example, friendly and outgoing. So you need to connect these uh, personalities with the statements here, for example. So for example, friendly and outgoing is related to statement number two. For example, I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. So if you enjoy if you enjoy going to parties where you don't know everyone, that means that you are friendly and outgoing. So you can make uh, friends easily. So because you are friendly and outgoing. What about strong and independent? Strong and independent. So let's see which one match better. Number four, it says, I insist on making my own decision. So if you insist on making your own decisions, that means that you are strong and independent, okay? So uh, here you have to put uh, uh, number four, right? Here is number four. Okay, number four. Very good. What about lay, lay back and relax? Lay back and relax. Okay, so number six says, I never worry about getting getting places on time. So if you never worry about getting places on time, that means that you are laid back and relaxed, right? So number six, right? Number six, I never worry about getting places on time. That means that you are laid back and relaxed. Okay, what about kind and generous? Okay, number five, I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. So if you don't mind giving up your time to help other people, that means that you are kind and generous. So here is uh, number number five, right? Yeah, number five. Here is number five, kind and generous. Okay, what about uh, honest and sincere? Okay, sincere, honest and sincere. Well, let's see. Number nine, I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. Okay, if you prefer telling people how you feel, 
that means that you are okay honest and sincere okay so that is uh, mm, number nine so number nine okay what about shy and reserve okay shy and reserve number three i avoid expressing expressing my feelings and and ideas in public so if you avoid expressing your your feelings and ideas in public number three that means that you are shy and reserved so number three is gonna be here and what about wild and crazy are you wild and crazy wild and crazy so let's see number seven i always feel like going dancing i always feel like going dancing I always feel like going dancing. So if you always feel like going dancing, that means that you are, you are wild and crazy. You are wild and crazy. What about calm and cool? Okay. So I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. So if you are not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class, that means that you are calm and cool. That is number one, right? Here, number one. Okay, and the last one, neat and tidy. These words, these words are similar, okay? Neat and tidy. Okay, it's like you are very organized, okay? You are organized, you everything is in order that means neat and tidy okay so for example i can't stand being a messy disorganized room so if you can't stand being a messy disorganized room that means that you are neat and tight okay so that is eight okay that's it that's it so okay now let's move on into grammar Okay, number three, grammar. Verse followed by gerunds. Use the gerund, the gerund form after these verbs. Enjoy. So you after enjoy, you need to use the gerund. So going, ing, this is the gerund, okay? Expressing, this is the gerund, okay? Giving, giving up, giving, particularly, this is the gerund, okay? And the verse that you're gonna use after that you use the gerund for after this verb these verb are enjoy a boy okay in mind so i enjoy going this is the gerund going i enjoy going to paris where i don't know everyone i a boy expressing expressing is the gerund my feelings and idea in public i don't mind giving up my time to help other people. In this case, so you wanna use the gerund or infinity form after these verb. Can stand, love, right? Hate, for example, I can't stand being in a messy room, or you can use the infinitive. I can I can stand to be in a messy room. I love taking my friends to cool new clubs or the infinitive i love to take my friends to cool new clubs i hate getting up for early morning classes or the infinitive i hate to get up for early morning classes okay that is super easy so use the gerund form after these expressions containing preposition on right on into right i insist on making my own decisions i'm into going out to new foreign restaurants okay very very good so now let's move on into speaking personal profiles so look at the information about these people which person is more similar to you and why so let's meet our neighbors people that live uh they live close by okay they live, they live close to us okay this is emily she's a college student she's friendly and outgoing she loves 
playing sports, into traveling. She's into traveling too. That's why she's friendly and outgoing. You know, I'm kind of friendly and outgoing too. This is Carlos. He's an artist. He's wild and crazy. That's why he loves to dance and can't stand going home early because he's wild and crazy. And this is Linda. She's a lawyer. She's shy and reserved. That's weird. If you are a lawyer, you, you shouldn't be shy and reserved because you need to talk a lot in front of the people because you're a lawyer, right? So she is into watching old movies. I like that. I like to watch uh, old movies. And this is Chris. He's a teacher. He's laid back and relaxed. So if you are a teacher like that, you're going to last forever, okay? So enjoys cooking meals for friends and loves to tell jokes. If you are a good joke uh, teller, that's good for your student. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna finish with listening. Okay. Let's listen. Uh, Marcus and Heather. They talk about how they have changed over the last five years. So we need to complete this. Well, here we have kind and generous. Friendly and outgoing, shy and reserved, wild and crazy. So you need to write down here how Marco used to be and now uh, uh, how he has become, right? He has become, okay? Heather and Marco. So let's listen. Friends and family. Lesson A, page four. Exercise five. Changes, part A. Listen to Marcos and Heather talk about how they have changed over the last five years. How did they change? Complete the chart with the expressions from the box. 1. Marcos Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before, I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But now that I have a wife and a little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more generous and kind. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. 2. Heather I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. Can you believe it? So I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. Okay, so now Marcos, I mean, Marco used to be uh, wild and crazy, friendly and outgoing, but now he's kind and generous. And Heather, and Heather is, she used to be shy and reserved, but now she's friendly and outgoing. Okay, so now uh choose the person you think will be more likely to do each of these things to this this week i mean this week okay so for example let me see uh uh stay out late at a big party that's heather right heather sorry heather heather Stay at home and watch TV. 
let's say Marcus, Marcus, help someone with a personal problem, Marcus, to invite a friend to a funny movie, that's Heather, that's Heather, okay? All right, that's all. Okay, now you need to find a partner or a classmate and talk about how you change. You need to talk to someone and talk about this. You have here some useful expressions uh, describing how you've changed and describe how you like to change, okay? You would like to change. I like to be more independent, you know, something like that. I'm interested in learning languages i don't know whatever you want to say okay so i think that's the end of this lesson guys so this is uh lesson a thank you for watching this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel please and this is passages one okay unit one friends and family see you see you see you next time thanks for watching